so first of all we will uh, take the snap of the house like we are taking this address then we will capture and we will just save here okay then uh, then we will open autocad just insert image come here we will insert image like this then we will take the dimension from the ridge to get the dimension we will just right click and measure distance from ridge just point here and second point here now we can get the dimension that is 28.27 feet so we will take 28 28 feet from ridge and we will take rough snap angle uh just turn off ortho mode and just take it from ridge to ridge here we will get 264 so we will take the round off round off is 264 and uh, which is 96 degree snap angle so we will minus by uh, 360 so this will be 96 so i'll write right minus 96 See, see, two sixty four we get, uh, yes. and uh, we will uh, minus by three sixty, three sixty minus two sixty four. Then you will get the snap snap angle, which is ninety six. So we will write minus ninety six. Here you get. So I'll let's say zero. This one is zero. Uh, I'll write. this like this if i here you can see uh, this one is 0 this one 90 this one is 180 270 and 360 okay so my house is at 96 so 96 plus uh, 0 96 so this will not like 96 degree this 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 raise this slope like back side of the house is on 96 degree okay so we will take snap angle minus 96 and we will draw the house we get the distance is 28 feet so we will give the command 27 28 feet just press enter here you can see the 28 feet is here so we will just scale scale this r enter now you can see here this is the 28 feet then we will draw all roof edges based on this uh like this like this we can draw roof and we can also verify while going on street view okay yes this one is our house 
I think the this one from corner second house. Now you can see there are like two roofs in front. So we will draw one roof from here. Till okay, and and we need to confirm from back also. As you can see, we cannot see the back back side of the house. Okay, so there is there is one gate over here and there is one fence over here. Okay, so. this is how you can draw the house and now we will draw the property line from the driveway to the back side of the house here as you can see uh, there is uh, this this small yeah. small No, no. This is a uh, hip. This is hip roof. So that that I drew. And uh, we will draw the driveway. Okay. Now the driveway is drawn. Property line is drawn. Roof is drawn. we will now draw the fence so we will take 8 inch offset and here you can see on the like map we saw that uh, there is one gate over here yes yeah offset and other side is fence so and rest we will delete and we can assign to the different layers based on the like designs and now we will give the offset fire set setback let's say here we will give 18 inch from ridge and 36 18 inch from ridge we gave and 36 from break we will trim rest of the part we can trim this we can extend this we can use fillet for this okay and from here we will give 18 inch we can trim rest okay we will extend this we can extend this also we will use fillet for this and just we will hatch this okay you can uh, assign to different hatch layers as per the requirement okay we hatched let's say we are using q cells modules then we will take the dimension from spec sheets here it is 74 inch by 41.1 inch so we will draw a module here we will create snap angle to 0 snap angle 0 then we will draw 74 length 74 inch by 41.1 41.1 inch then we will create modules like this and we will draw one optimizer also here like this we will hatch this also and we will Huh? 
optimizer is used uh, this is for uh, optimizer is for like maximum power point tra tracking okay. yes so we will place like this and we will create one array of the modules we will give give one inch offset like this let's say we will place six modules five one two three four five six we will give one inch space between them and we will just control shift c copy what just copy to the second array like i'll place it at the opposite end and i'll select this and move a 1 inch forward okay. like this and i'll place the modules like this then i'll create one rectangle for the equipment and i'll write text i'll write junction box okay i'll place inside inside this and i'll just control shift c and i'll paste it on roof let's say r enter i'll paste it here i'll just scale this a little bit i'll just uh, off this image then now i can uh, let's say our equipment is placed let's say if i can find on google the meter location i think the meter will be placed over here no no yes let's say the meter is placed here then what we will do is then we will place the junction box over other side nearby meter then secondly what we will do is we we will place inverter let's say i am placing the inverter over here i'll scale this i'll write i n v inverter okay i'll just stretch this i'll just place the inverter okay inverter is placed and then i'll connect the string from inverter i'll take the snap angle i'll just place the string i'll just connect the string from junction box to inverter then i'll provide the next if there is requirement of acd acd then i'll provide one ac disconnect like this then next what i'll do is i'll just provide one msp main service panel in which the breaker is placed then i'll provide one utility meter so 
this is the way we can draw the layout is this looking fine so this is the way we can draw layouts in autocad